Hey boys and girls. This week you are going to be making nature texture rubbings. So what you need for this project is paper, crayon, a leaf or a flower, or you could use both, and a different textured surfaces. feels like. Rubbing is when you put paper over a textured surface and rub it with a crayon so that way you can see the texture on the paper. So you are going to pick your project. You can pick beginner, intermediate, or advanced. Or if you finish one and you want to move to the next one, you can do that as well. So for the beginner project, you're going to collect a leaf or a flower, and you're going to put it anywhere on the paper. Then you're going to pick a texture surface like a concrete sidewalk, a wood table, anything you can feel textured. Then what you're going to do is you're going to color around the leaf or the flower using the side of the crayon. It's very important you use the side of the crayon because if you use the tip of it, it's not going to work. For the intermediate project, you're going to collect a leaf or a flower, and instead of just placing it on top, you're going to place it under the paper, and then you're going to use the side of the crayons and rub over the leaf so you can actually see it on the paper, and then you're going to repeat this until you fill the whole paper. For the advanced project, you're going to draw a monster, so you can think of where the wild things are, or the Monster is Inc. movie for inspiration. You're going to pick different texture surfaces, so don't just pick a concrete sidewalk and color the whole picture, because that's going to be boring. Make sure you pick different ones, and you're going to go color in the monster and the background. Make sure you use the side of the crayon, though. So for mine, I used a concrete sidewalk for his body. I used tile for his head and arms, and then I used a, um, a field book for the bumps in the background. Once you're done, you can take a picture of your artwork and send it into the Padlet, or you can email it directly to me. I can't wait to see your beautiful creative project.